Now, you might say, Mark, he's done an awful lot of damage. He must be busy doing something. No, he delegates that. His aides, the bureaucracy, members of Congress, their aides, they put together these massive transforming bills, and he signs them. But the day-to-day activity of really paying attention to what's going on, Obama's not there. I would love to know what this guy does during the day. I know what he does on the weekends. He parties down and plays sports. I would love to know what he does during the week. How can you be slow to enter the budget fight? That's what the Democrats are accusing him of today, when there's so much at stake for the nation. How can you see what's going on in the Middle East and be slow to respond to the Libya situation? leaving it to the Brits and the French to take the lead. How can you be slow to deal with oil and gas and electricity prices when the costs are mounting and mounting and mounting and they have the potential to give the real death blow to this economy? And how can you be president for over two years and not meet with six of your cabinet secretaries? What the hell exactly is going on in this White House, I wonder? What the hell is going on? And yet the man has time to interfere in Wisconsin, time to interfere in Arizona, time for what he wants to do. 100 to 200 billion dollars in overlap, mismanagement, inefficiencies. And by the way, that doesn't even include our entitlement programs. Tens of billions of dollars in waste and fraud in Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security. But ladies and gentlemen, Obama promised us With Obamacare, it would actually be more efficient. They'd actually be able to address the debt. And yet, here he is, President of the United States, the one person in charge of cleaning up the way the federal government is managed. And he hasn't done a damn thing. I'm guessing he'll set up a commission one day, much like the Deficit Commission, to oversee these things. They'll issue a report, and he'll ignore it. Reagan... One of his first acts was to set up the Grace Commission, which came up with hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of proposals. Big, thick book of proposals. The vast majority of which were implemented in his first term. Obama's not interested in managing a damn thing. He's a creator. So he's creating new things to manage. After all, presidents don't go down in history for being good managers for ensuring efficiencies in government. They go down in history for creating great things, big things, for caring for people, for showing compassion. At least that's what they say.